Y'all, I don't want to start crying again. God does hear prayers, okay? That's what I'm going to say. God dear, does hear prayers. I'm so happy that my granddaughter is back home with um, her mom out of harm's way. Oh, God is good. I'm I'm trying like. <sighs> okay, I got this. I got this. Again, I'm so grateful that he got Kamari out of there. I still, I'm still worried for CJ, but like I like I said, I know God hears prayers because He heard this one. Granted, everything's not meant for the internet. We all know that. I just did a video yesterday, um, earlier, not the one, the first video I did yesterday. And I was saying that, yeah, rich people have problems too. And it's not all financial. You know what I mean? And God bless if he didn't come turn around today and say the same thing in so many words. God got him. Definitely. Definitely. Um, so that just confirms what I was saying yesterday. Now I'm not living in the house with him. I don't know his all of his um situations. All I know is what um I hear on the TV. And it's hard and I get it. Um I get it. I get it. It's hard to be famous, you know. Uh being famous a lot comes with that. A lot comes with that. Like I said, you got to be strong. And CJ, Cordero James Brady, is a very strong individual to be able to cope with everything that he's going through. You got the baby mama number two is just all over the place, y'all. She's all over the place. And that's what scares me so much. Um, I also cried when I heard him say that she want him dead. If that's okay for me to say on YouTube. <sighs> that to hear that somebody wants your your child unalived that's scary it's scary and me as a mother like I've already told you guys I was and, and everybody already know I wasn't there for my children then but I'm here now and there's nothing in this world would stop me from retaliating if something happens to my son, I know you're supposed to let God handle things, but hey, I'm not God and I'm only human and I birthed my children into this world and I don't care how old I get, I'm still going to feel the same way. I'm still going to feel the same way. Nobody can stop me from saying what I, what I feel. I said she had something to do with that. When he got shot, I really feel that. He said it. So, um, hey, just keep him in your prayers, guys, please. I know you guys do. Just don't stop praying for him. Mr. Roberts asks you to please consider probation that these um, families are probationable. If the court's going to impose a prison term, I would ask for something along the lines of two to five or three to eight so that he would be able to be the man that he needs to be for his young child who's going to be brought into this world potentially without a father and without that male role model that he was missing when he was growing up 
And, you know, instead of continuing the cycle, he wants to be there. He wants to be the man that his child is going to need. Mr. Roberts, I'll tell you, it, it's really hard to reconcile the person that um, your family and friends describe with the person that I see in the text messages who's setting these things up. I do want to give you an opportunity to talk to me, though, um, before I sentence you in this matter. First, I want to apologize that you even have to deal with this situation. Um, like my very sentences, I did kind of grow apart. I'm not going to make no excuse for myself, nor the decision that I made. But I am truly remorseful for the thing that I, I have done. And I took in the three months that I have been in here and tried to just focus on myself and figure out what is my problem, like what problems I do have to uh, fix myself going forward. I do have a baby girl on the way, and I wouldn't want her to miss out on the person that I know I am, not somebody that I, I portray to be, even to my friends or whoever else, like just the person that I truly am, Derek, not ruthless not some other moniker or anything like that. So um, with all that being said, I, I truly am sorry for the things that it happened and, and scaring the community because the household, that is something tragic. That is something that's that shouldn't be taken lightly. I'm not going to uh, minimize it or anything like that. I just, I do just ask for, for mercy, you know, not even for just me, for my daughter. You know, and um, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Just given the level of planning and what I see in this crime specifically, this isn't something that is appropriate for probation. I, it, it pains me in any way to separate you from your family because I know family is sacrosanct, but at the same time, this is a situation where Mr. Brady's, the home he worked so hard for, with his family, it was that, that piece was shattered, and I don't know how he ever gets that back. I wrote this to speak in front of the court. And all night, I couldn't sleep because this was the first time anything like this has happened to me. And it's not as easy as it seems now that the day is here for me to face the shooters in my home invasion. I'm too afraid to stand in the courtroom in front of them and their potentially dangerous family and friends. And so even though I wrote this, I'm too afraid to come to speak. My name is Cordero Brady. Some of you may know me better as CJ So Cool. I am a father of three beautiful children who mean the world to me. Thankfully, my kids were not home when I was viciously attacked and robbed of not only my belongings, but my peace of mind. In the wake of this incident, I have suffered mentally, physically, and financially. My business has suffered. I'm a content creator and digital storyteller that didn't know how to be transparent with my little audience about something so painful. People rely on me for inspiration, empowerment, and entertainment none of which I could offer from the recovery room in the hospital or a house where I was brutally assaulted. Despite the implementation of extreme and expensive security measures in the house where I was attacked, it became evident that I needed to find a new home that could offer safety from ignorant and preventable violence such as this. In fact, I attempted to move into a home nearby to offer some stability for my children, but was unable to stay there due to the incessant feeling that it was not safe enough. As a result, I found a new place to live, but can't escape the feeling of impending doom, which I'm reminded of every time I try to run the yard with my twins. I can't play with them like I used to because I was shot in and sustained a chronic injury causing extreme pain in my right or left leg. I remember, I'm reminded of it every time my 11-year-old asks if I lock the door. The same 11-year-old who has spent the last five months having nightmares about her father being attacked. But my purpose today isn't to tell you about the way this is inconvenienced and disturbed me or my kids. My purpose is to ensure that the criminal who has inflicted immeasurable pain on myself and the others is brought to justice. Any leniency toward his sentencing would be a travesty of justice and disruption to the community of Henderson. This could have been anyone, and so long as he's free, it could be anyone, regardless of their demographics or status, I truly believe this type of evil does not discriminate. Thank you. I'm going to sentence you as follows. Um, and the court will also say that there's first going to be that your, your judge guilty of conspiracy to commit robbery, robbery and battery with use of a deadly weapon resulting in substantial bodily harm, all felonies. The will impose a $25 administrative assessment fee, $3 DNA collection fee, $150 DNA fee, and the fact you must submit genetic marker testing. On count one, you are sentenced to 28 to 72 months in the Nevada Department of Corrections. On count two, you are sentenced to three to eight years in the Nevada Department of Corrections that is to run concurrent to count one. 
On count two, you are sentenced to three to 10 years in the Nevada Department of Corrections consecutive to count two. The aggregate sentence is six to 18 years in the Nevada Department of Corrections. You have 110 days credit time served for that sentence. Your Honor, he's going to be pleading guilty to counts one and three, robbery with use of a deadly weapon, and count two, battery with use of a deadly weapon in this case, and robbery with use of a deadly weapon in his second case, which is still in justice court. Yes. And um, as set forth in the um, third amended fourth superseding indictment, and uh, the state has the right to argue, but will not seek more than 10 to 30 years total between the cases and counts. So just so I'm clear, is he pleading in this case to yes. the robbery that's from the other case? No, no, he's pleading in another case. Yeah, that's a DPA that will be filed in the other case, the more recent cases picked up. Understood. Okay. Mr. McDuffie, is that your understanding of the negotiations? Yes, ma'am. What's your true and full name? I'm Tommy McDuffie. How old are you? 17. How far did you go in school? 11th grade. So is it fair to say that you read, write, and understand the English language? Yes, ma'am. Are you under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medication today? Um, yes. Do you understand you're being charged with two counts of robbery with use of a deadly weapon and one count of battery with use of a deadly weapon resulting in substantial bodily harm? Yes, ma'am. How do you plead to those two charges, guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Is anybody forcing you to plead guilty? Oh, yes. Are you pleading guilty of your own free will? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand the potential penalties for this charge are as follows? Yes, ma'am. Uh, hang on, let me go through them and then uh, tell me, uh, I'll stop after each paragraph. All right, so count one and three, the robbery with use of a deadly weapon. Uh, the, ro the robbery carries two to 15 years, Nevada Department of Corrections, and then there's a consecutive one to 15 year for the deadly weapon enhancement. So we're looking at a total of three to 30 years for that. And those charges are not probationable. Do you understand those potential penalties? Yes, ma'am. As to count two, that charge carries two to 15 years in the Nevada Department of Corrections and a fine up to $10,000. That count is probationable. Do you understand those potential penalties for that charge? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that sentencing is strictly up to the court? So nobody can promise you probation, leniency, or special treatment? Yes, ma'am. I have a copy of your guilty plea agreement in front of me on page set, uh, six. You initialed it AM. Did you sign that? Yes, ma'am. And that's your signature, your initials? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Before you signed that, did you go over it with your attorney, Mr. Rutledge? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Did you understand the entire guilty plea agreement before you signed off on it? Yes, ma'am. Did your attorney answer all your questions before you signed off on this deal? Yes, ma'am. Did your attorney or anyone else uh, force or threaten you in any way to make you sign off on the deal? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you are giving up the constitutional rights that are listed in this document by pleading guilty? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any questions about your constitutional rights? No. Do you understand that if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea could result in negative immigration consequences? Yes, Did you discuss your case and your rights with your attorney? Yes, Do you have any questions for me regarding your case or your rights in this matter? Yes. Okay. I'm going to read the third amended, fourth superseding indictment. And you tell me if these are the facts that cause you to plead guilty today. Okay, sir? So it states, at and within the county of Clark State in Nevada, on or about January 12, 2023, and January 21st, 2023, count one, you along with Raven Queen, Sean Jackson, and Derek Lamont Roberts, did honor about the 12th day of January, 2023, willfully and lawfully and feloniously take property to wit keys from the person of Cordero Brady or in his presence without the consent and against the will of Cordero Brady by means of force or violence or fear of injury, immediate or future, to his person, the person of a member of his family or anyone in his company at the time of the robbery, you using force or fear to obtain or retain possession of the property, prevent or overcome resistance to the taking of the property or to facilitate escape, use a deadly weapon to wit a firearm, you being criminally liable under one more of the following principles of criminal liability to wit. One, you directly committed that crime. Two, you aided or abetted in the commission of the crime with the intent that the crime be committed by counseling, encouraging, hiring, commanding, inducing, and or otherwise procuring the others to commit the crime. And or three, pursuant to a conspiracy to commit the crime with the intent that the crime be committed, defendants aiding or abetting and are conspiring by acting in concert throughout. Um, count two is the battery use of a deadly weapon resulting in substantial bodily harm. It states that you, along with Raven Queen, Sean Jackson, and Derek Roberts, did honor about January 12, 2023, willfully and lawfully and poloniously use force or violence upon the person of Cordero Brady with use of a deadly weapon with a firearm by shooting at and into the body of Cordero Brady with that firearm, resulting in substantial bodily harm to him, you being criminally liable under one more of the following principles of criminal liability to wit. One, you correctly committed that crime. Two, you aided or abetted in the commission of the crime with the intent that the crime be committed by counseling, encouraging, hiring, commanding, inducing, and or others for carrying another to the others to commit the crime. And or three, pursuant to a conspiracy to commit the crime with the intent of the crime be committed, you aided or abetted and or conspired by acting in concert throughout without with the other defendants. And then finally, count three, 
you and or Trevon Anthony Watkins and or an unidentified co-conspirator did on or about January 21st, 2023, willfully, unlawfully, and feloniously take property to wit a 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLC 600 bearing California license 8FNN057 from the person of Theodore Allen or in his presence without the consent and against the will of Theodore Allen by means of force or fear of or violence or fear of injury immediate or future to his person the person of a member of his family or of anyone in his company at the time of the robbery using force or fear to obtain or retain possession of the property to prevent or overcome resistance to the taking of the property and or to facilitate escape with use of a deadly weapon to wit an ar-15 firearm bearing serial number ns074186 or other unknown make model firearm you being criminally liable and one other following principles of criminal liability to wit one, you directly committed that crime. Two, you aided or abetted in the commission of the crime by counseling, encouraging, command, hiring, commanding, inducing, and or others procuring another to commit the crime with the intent of the crime be committed. You and or Trevon Anthony Watkins and or an unidentified co-conspirator entering into a course of conduct where you and Trevon Anthony Watkins and or an unidentified co-conspirator approached and entered Theodore Allen's vehicle, whereupon you demanded the keys to the vehicle. Thereafter, you directed Trevon Anthony Watkins and or an unidentified co-conspirator to shoot Theodore Allen. Whereupon Trevon Anthony Watkins and or the unidentified co-conspirator armed with an AR-15 firearm pointed that firearm at Theodore Allen. Thereafter, Theodore Allen exited the vehicle and you and Trevon Anthony Watkins and or an unidentified co-conspirator then drove the vehicle away. You and your co-conspirators acting in concert throughout and or through pursuant to a conspiracy to commit the crime. Are those all the facts that cause you to plead guilty to those three crimes that you are pleading guilty to today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I find there is a factual basis for this plea and it is freely and voluntarily answered. We're going to refer the case to the Department of Parole and Probation for preparation of PSI and set it down for sentencing on June 11th, 2024. That'll be the same date Mr. Jackson um, is there so that we can obviously coordinate efforts. Person, person, Ms. Queen is present with Mr. Erickson. Uh, we still have Mr. Porch for the state. This is on for a calendar call and you're moving to continue. Yes, Your Honor, we are. And, and, and for the record, Lance Meninga was also Oh, present. thank you. Good morning, um, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, can we place Mr. Erickson under oath real quick? You do solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give in this act must be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so after God? I do. Thank you. Please state your name for the record. Thomas Erickson. All right, Mr. Erickson, um, what still needs to be done to get the, this portion of the case ready for trial? Your Honor, as you're aware, um, I'm fairly new to the case. Mr. Meningo is very new to the case. Um, we have been trying to get up to speed, but with this particular part of the case that was separated from the, the larger, more comprehensive case, we have not had the opportunity to go through everything with um, our client and are, are not prepared um, to go to trial. We've Additional been, investigation, perhaps? Y y yes, Your Honor, and um, there are potential experts that are meeting that we need okay. to State what's your position. We have All right. So I am going to grant the motion to continue finding good cause, um, specifically the need for additional investigation. And I will vacate the next week's trial date in this case. I will just have this trail, the homicide matter. Um, and then once there is either a, a verdict or once there's a verdict in that matter, we can address resetting this. Does that work for the state? Okay. We're sorry. All of our representatives are still assisting other customers. We're sorry. All of our representatives are still assisting other customers. <laughs>